note in the address bar that you want to put in the IP of the MTU 192.168.7.3 and that brings up what we call the MTU's user interface page or UI page. Uh, this page is also important if you're using a another configuration other than the default, which is three phase four wire Y. You're using another configuration. You would select it there. If you were using Rogowski coils, you would select it here. You'd select that checkbox. What we're going to do is go to our stats page by selecting stats. So we're looking at the MTU stats page, and what we want to check is the active power on each phase. It's also good to go ahead and take a look at the voltage as well. You can see that there's a decimal place that's not shown here. So when I show 122.2, that's 122.2 volts per phase, as you can see. Um, we have the current, which also has a decimal point, and the active power and apparent power. What we're concerned with right now is the active power and the PF, okay? If you, if you As long as you're on a system that doesn't have generation on it, active power should be a positive number. If you see a negative number here, that could indicate two things. Either the CTs are turned in the wrong direction, or the MTU's power cord connections are not matched up A, B, and C phase to the CT connections A, B, and C phase, and they need to be. So, I've already double-checked my CT connections, we know they're correct. So what I'm going to do is go back to the MTU. As you can see here, all three of the phases show a negative active power and a fairly low power factor. I'm just going to unplug all three of these. And you can do this with the MTU under power because there's minimal current on these connectors from the CT. And I'm going to take the connector that's in the A phase, and I'm just going to move it to the B phase and see what I see there now my active power went positive, as you can see, 5918, and my apparent power is at 93%, which is typical, okay? So I'm pretty sure that's the B phase. I'm going to take this other CT connection, put it into the A and see what we have here. Also a positive active power. So the other one should be the C phase. So now you can see all three phases. Active power is positive. Power factor, you know, is typically going to be above 80%. In this case, uh, it's you know above 90% on all three phases. So you can see that the CTs are correctly connected uh, to match the voltage connections.